So it's weird for us to start a video when the day is kind of ending. But every once in a while, we do get out for a sunset. So we definitely wanted to share this with you guys. The dunes here, the whole state park, it's just so untouched. It's just so walking through those dunes to get here. It's just, it's almost like an experience in itself. You usually think of the beach, but I don't know. It's just such a cool entryway to this beautiful sunset we're getting tonight. How did he get that chocolate milk all over him? <laughs> it was a bumpy ride. <laughs> Got this straight line going across. What in the world? That is crazy. Isn't that crazy, babe? So pretty. I mean, it's not the most epic sunset you've ever seen. I mean, I don't even call it a sunset. It's just like a light show or something. It like. is, but I think that's what makes it really unique. Every sunrise, every sunset is just so special. And watching it kind of set behind the clouds and give off this awesome cotton candy light. I mean, it's just everything's about cotton candy and. I don't, it's, like a, it's crazy. Look, it's like almost like a like a dome or something. I don't know. It's nuts. It's even like reflecting off the water, so the water even looks pink. It's really cool. Wow. It's so weird. I don't know if it's the fineness of the sand or what, but when you walk, whether you're barefoot or you have shoes on, it makes this like squeaking noise. <laughs> the sand is so fine though. I've heard on the West Coast it's even like finer than that. You like can't ever get it off your body. JJ, you want to teach him your song? Ready? Dinosaur. Ray! Dinosaur. Ray! That may not be clean. find those little holes, they're down in that hole. Sometimes they just go even deeper. Nope. Get them? No. Nope. For a hole, that's where they're coming and out And if you at. see them, sometimes they'll just sit in the hole, but sometimes if they see you, they'll go deeper. So we are looking for ghost crabs. So at night, these really hard to find crabs come out of the sand and they're trying to make their way to the ocean and the, the kids just have a good time seeing if they can spot them. All right, Henson, when you find one, you gotta put your finger in there, okay? <laughs> no. yep. Put your finger in. Hey! We got a hole, we got a hole. I don't think we got anything, buddy. Oh, yeah, there he is! We got him! Look, JJ, look! A crab! He's gonna jump! <laughs> put, him put him in the bucket! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is looking really hard, too, here. <laughs> As an RVer, <laughs> I think you just have to kind of go with what works um, and not worry about the details. Done is better than perfect. Maybe that's the phrase. Since I've been RVing, I cut my own hair. I do my shaving in front of a truck mirror. You just go with the flow. Constantly thinking about the phrase, it's all just part of the journey. Trying new things out, going new places, doing new things. Because this lifestyle has a way of just totally amplifying who you are at the core. And at the core of who I am, some of it I like, some of it I don't. Probably a little bit too much OCD, a little bit too much perfectionism. I've really had to like constantly tell myself this phrase of done is better than perfect. I booked this site, which I didn't have much of a choice. It was a cancellation, but <laughs> I grabbed this cancellation here, booked this, it said waterfront, just snatched it up. I mean, I don't know, it's technically still waterfront. There's like some hoses coming in and out of it over here. Nathan told me we got waterfront site. When I showed up, I laughed so hard because. <laughs> so, there isn't ocean side, so I think this is the waterfront. <laughs> 
it is waterfront. <laughs> You can't get here and get mad. You just get here and you laugh and you move on. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's beautiful though. And it was tight getting in here. I had to make a decision. Do I want the rear jack to catch the concrete, which I barely did, or do I want my main master slide to not come out all the way because of this tree? Yeah, it's pretty close. We almost got it all the way out. But really all that does when you can't get your master slide out is it decreases the amount of room you've got like for walkway right here. Not the end of the world and if I have to pick a slide I want to be flexible on it's this one. But yeah this is a pretty tight site to get into. Trees just all over which is great as far as the site itself and it's a super long site. But yeah some wiggling maneuvering and uh, <laughs> and all that to get in here. Two favorite things are combined. Airstreams and food. RVs and food, right? Okay, this is the grilled cheese line. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the one you want, I guess. <laughs> you see the grilled cheese line? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently when you get grilled cheese out of an Airstream, it makes it, um, gourmet? Yeah. <laughs> That's why gourmet prizes. Too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of airstreams. How many airstreams? Two, three, three, nine, ten. <laughs> Two, three, four, nine, ten. <laughs> Check that one out, man. That is cool. I don't know how many they've got here. JJ might be close. There's <laughs> somewhere around ten. This is, this is kind of crazy. Like uh, all the shops and airstreams and restaurants surround. Like this amphitheater? Everybody just hangs out. The kids are playing, rolling down the hills like crazy, of course. This is a very unique experience, man. I paid two dollars for this little thing of sauerkraut here. <laughs> How much was all of this? Twenty-five dollars for two hot dogs. No. But when it when it's in an airstream, I mean, you can charge what you want. <laughs> Twenty? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you better I'm eat making, that whole thing, girl. I'm making the most of it here. <laughs> Brendan said that's a clothing store. He's about to get in line. Seaside style. No, I am not getting in line. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, man? Oh my goodness. Oh, what is there? 100 plus people for sure. Oh yeah. If you ever wondered what a double red flag day looks like, that's what this is. Look at those waves, Hensley. Those waves are crazy. Kinsley, what have we got here? It's a birdhouse. A birdhouse? Here's some little pictures. Here's an oven, a little counter, and here's a bed. And some little perches over here. There's a little swing, I know it bumps a lot. Here's a heart on top to make it beautiful. You officially got more value out of this Amazon box than whatever was in the Amazon box. Somewhere along the line, if I'm not careful, Hi. I become more concerned with getting things perfect than just getting things done or become worried about oh it's not exactly like I thought it would be the RV living like if we waited until we were 100% sure we were going to do this I don't know that we ever would have done this <laughs> we talk about getting to 95% and then leaping there's just this childlike quality inside of us that says look let's just create things let's just do things let's just go for it and RVing sort of magnifies that you know if we're not careful along the way things can start sucking that out of us but I love this childhood creativity you figuring it out, girl? You're gonna hang it from a branch? Yeah. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. 
So what's that? It's a bird feeder. Couple of our friends, Brendan and Vanessa. You guys have they've been on some of our videos before, but they came down from Tennessee to camp with us and uh Brendan said he had some issues with his bumper on the way down. Hey, do you know you're missing your bumper? I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh what happened? In the middle it has a uh, hitch, so we have a bicycle rack that goes in a hitch. So we had three bikes on the back, and I guess it was just a little too much weight, and we're driving down the road, and we heard a pop, but that was it. And then just a few minutes later, we see a Mustang flying up beside us, honking his horn, yelling out the window, and I looked back, and it was almost dark at that point, and I saw sparks flying, and I knew exactly what had happened. So our bumper pretty much just broke in half uh, off of the, supports and our bikes were just dragging uh down the interstate <laughs> it broke on both of them and uh, it was just like the whole bumper just uh, went down. we just took the bikes off the bikes are destroyed uh, and i kicked the bumper off and threw it on the back of the truck i mean no biggie there's what 800 hundred dollar bikes so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all the rubber pieces from the tires of the bikes just all over the back of the <laughs> Yeah, there's the bumper. Uh, These aren't, oh, there's nothing wrong with that bike. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. It's good to go. It's fine, the brakes are good. It's... <laughs> okay, all right, that's the main thing. It's all right. <laughs> so what do they have at Top Sail State Park? Uh, you've got our 170-ish full hookup sites. Got like a uh, general store. You can rent bikes if you need to, if you didn't bring your bikes with you. By the way, bikes are probably like the biggest deal of this campground. You definitely, definitely want bikes or to rent bikes, which you can do here. Shuffleboard, swimming pool. They got a playground. Now they've got yurts. Go inside. Got like this cute little bed looks like. It's an AC that goes outside. A heater is an option. A little table over here. I think they've also got some tent sites here, but one of the things that's pretty cool about this one that if like you had a large group and if like part of your group doesn't have an RV, you can actually rent the yurts and you can also rent these very large, very nice cabins. I don't know how many they've got. There's a ton like back behind me over here just keeps going for like half a mile. There's a ton of these things. And of course the main attraction here and what you guys saw at the beginning of the video with the sunset is the beach but the beach is not you can walk to it i'm gonna guess it's a mile ish to get down there if you have bikes way way easier so you've got this road is only for pedestrians only for bikes and only for the tram the problem with the tram is it only runs once an hour and so if you don't have bikes and you don't want to walk all the way down here you're stuck waiting for on the hour and i think it only runs from like 9 a.m to 4 p.m or 10 a.m to 4 p.m it's, it's limited hours as well so you're really limited without the bikes you can bike to the beach there's like a beach lake i don't know exactly what you call it it's like a natural lake that the sand dunes kind of surround this body of water. Pretty cool. This is where the tram drops you off. You go anywhere, do anything in the state park, this is the place to be. Like this is the money shot. This is the coolest thing here. It's this reveal shot of the dunes as you're coming down this boardwalk. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. It's just incredible. And again, another perk of the bikes. If you have your bikes, the tram stops running at four, the crowds go down a lot because the tram's also coming from a parking lot at the front of the state park for like the public. And so it's way less crowded if you come down here after four o'clock because the tram's not running anymore. And you get stuff like this, just all by yourself. Just awesome. These are these little lakes that kind of forms. I mean, the ones you hike to are a lot bigger than this, but it's still the same concept, just a bigger version of that. 
So we had a local tell us, uh, you've got two different kinds of state parks in Florida. You've got the state parks that really there's not a whole lot to do. It's peaceful, it's quiet, you can save some money still overstaying in private parks in the area. And then you've got the state parks where the state park can actually be a destination. And you've got so much to do within that state park. Not only are you saving money because yeah, it's 50-ish bucks a night here, but we'd probably pay double that at private parks in the area. Uh, so we're saving money. And if we really want to save money, you can just do all these things within the park itself because this state park is one of those parks that can be the destination. Grizzly thinks this is going to be weird. <laughs> I don't think we've ever done this before. So uh, I've got most of the RV like packed up, ready to go for tomorrow. We are leaving Top Sail State Park. Do you think it was better than you expected or like just like you expected or worse than you expected? I don't know if I knew what to expect. Okay. But, I mean, uh, a lot of people, every time you talk about it, they light up. So I knew it yeah. was going to be cool. But Yeah. And I spoiled Marissa Rotten. I even put it on her calendar that this was a waterfront site. So, um... Don't laugh so hard. <laughs> it is waterfront. Pretty. It's just not the run up waterfront I expected. <laughs> They're like, hey, we're going to Top Cell State Park uh, on the Panhandle. I got us a waterfront site. <laughs> um, I highly recommend checking out Top Cell State Park. Right, babe? Back there under the blanket. <laughs> That's our adventure for today with Top Cell State Park. Until next video, let go, get going.